I must go back, back to do my part, to fly and give again. And I'm not afraid, my plane may be shot away, but I have wings. Wings not of wood, steel, or stuff, but wings God gave my soul. Thank God for wings. What's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you a new Ace Day video over the Ace George Pretty, a Mustang World War II Ace. Now, the quote slash letter that you just heard was written by George Pretty right before returning to battle as American war hero as the highest scoring Mustang Ace in World War II. So, let's go ahead and get started on George Pretty. Now, Pretty was born and raised in Greensboro, North Carolina. He learned how to fly by a family friend named Hal Foster. Then George applied for the Navy in 1939 after word came of the invasion of Poland. However, he was denied due to physical issues with his spine and high blood pressure. After a year passed in 1940, he applied for the U.S. Army Air Corps and passed on the first attempt. During his wait for cadet class, he joined the National Guard and trained with the 257th Coast Artillery. He was then later sent a letter to report to the U.S. Army Air Corps for training. He underwent training in the PT-17 Cadet, the AT-6 Texan, and my favorite, the P-36 Hawk, graduating five days after the Pearl Harbor attack. George's first combat flights were seen around Darwin while piloting his P-40 with the 49th Pursuit Group. He named his P-40 Tar Heel. However, at the time, success did not come easy at first. Simple mistakes, dubbed as easy kills by him, just slipped through his fingertips and didn't get the outcome that he wanted, basically. So on April 27th, however, he found success by damaging two Japanese planes. A few months later, things took a turn for the worse when his plane collided with Lieutenant John Sauber's P-40. He managed to bail out with sustained injuries that left him in the hospital for several months. In December 1942, Preddy was assigned to the 487th Fighter Squadron. The only reason why he got into this position was because Lieutenant Jack Donaldson, a pilot who Preddy was flying with on the day of his mid-air collision, convinced John C. Mayer, commanding officer of the 487th Fighter Squadron, that Preddy was the right man for the job. While serving with the 487th, they got the P-47 Thunderbolt. Preddy still didn't have success in the Thunderbolt at first, but stated, I know that my day is coming, and I'm going to do everything possible to be ready when I do meet that Luftwaffe. Starting right now, I'm going to get in top physical and flying condition. Preddy's first Luftwaffe scores came on December 1st when he downed a BF-109. Three weeks later, his second victory came while leading his group against a fighter group attacking B-24s. He ended up knocking a ME-210 out of the sky. The 352nd ended up switching to P-51s on April 4th, where more successful victories came for Preddy, including his fifth victory, which made him an ace. Preddy shot down a Focke Wolf 190 and shared an ME-410 kill with Lieutenant James Woods. On July 18th, the 357th claimed 21 kills, four belonging to Preddy. His new plane bared the name Cripes A Mighty, the third, displaying 21 victory marks. Now, one of my favorite victory stories by Preddy, and it's pretty amazing, was his six kills in five minutes. So I'll just kind of give you the lowdown of the story here. But anyway, it was a late night of gambling for Preddy with his friends, and one too many beers were had. And Preddy went back to get some shut-eye, and he, let me, might add, he's leaving with most of the winnings. He's an avid gambler. And just as he laid down to get some shut-eye, an unsp unsuspecting mission came up, and it was unsuspecting because apparently they were having bad weather, and it was go time, basically. He climbed into his plane, and off he went. When they finally got to the bombers, Pretty looked around, and there here comes 30 BF-109 just screaming right towards them. And Pretty went right straight into them. And there's some actual footage of his six kills in five minutes, which I will go ahead and link down in the description. But it was amazing. He just nailed five of them right off the bat, and then he got a straggler, and off he went back to his base by himself. So that's just one of my favorite stories. It's pretty cool, but I'll go ahead and link that down in the, the uh, description for you guys. Now we are to the part that I never like to talk about, but Christmas Day 1944, at the base of Y-29, Pretty served as the commander of the 328th Fighter Squadron after returning back to the front. Now this picks up at the letter that I read at the very beginning. Now this was the Battle of the Bulge over the Ardennes Forest, is where his last battle was fought. His squadron took off and the skies filled up with radio chatter and there's just enemy aircraft and friendlies all over the place. Freddy and his wingman, Gordon Cartier, push a couple of enemy aircraft low and chase them at treetop level. 
Now, the anti-aircraft installments, and these are friendlies, I might add, got word of a German plane heading towards their position. Pretty was hot on the aircraft's tail when over the hilltops they came, and the anti-aircraft guns threw up everything that they had, striking Kripes and Mighty, crippling it, and the canopy ejected off, and Kripes and Mighty rolled into the ground, taking Freddy with it. Now, like I said, these are never the endings that I look for in Ace Day videos, but it's very sad. It's just ironic that he died by friend friendly fire. I was reading one of the comments in another video that I saw. He lived by the sword, he died by the sword. And I also liked a, like a comment that one of his wingmen said, uh, one of his real wingmen. They said he never seeked out any glory, but he deserves it. And that's very, very true about most states, as that is. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on George Preddy. This video was user requested by Wolf Pilot, and he's been asking me to do this for a while, and I've been trying to get around to it, and I finally got everything right. So hopefully you enjoy it, enjoyed it, Wolf Pilot. Hopefully everyone else enjoyed it. And I know I said I was going to release some tanks gameplay this week, but I wasn't really comfortable releasing it. Honestly, aviation is more my strong point than tanks are. So I think when I do put out more tank gameplay and the battles and stuff like that, I'm just going to have to do some more research about it. So I wasn't comfortable releasing something that I knew I didn't know all that about. I had to ask a lot of friends that knew more about tanks. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get back on the ball with some more videos here. I just want to put more effort into this one. So I think that's it. But again, anyway, guys... <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Brandon, and as always, have a nice day.